Hi guys, Richard from Sharpshooting UK here. I've got an interesting, if slightly different, review here. Non-tactical stuff. I've always been a really big fan of the Bushnell Elites. And the 6500 series on air rifles and rimmies and such like is really, really versatile. This is my own scope here. Two and a half to 16 by 50. Really, really good mid-range scope. Very versatile mag range. You can get really wide with that two and a half and into 16. Very good build quality, rock solid reliability. It's always been my choice at that sort of price for that sort of job. Now, as much of a fan as I am, I've long recognized that the 4.5 to 30 model of the same scope didn't have the optical talent to carry off that big mag range. Swarovski Z6 might be able to do four and a half all the way up to 30, or well, five to 30 in that case, but this just can't quite pull it off. It, it can do it in two and a half to 16, but in four and a half to 30, by about 22, you're starting to get a bit soft. And I wouldn't myself recommend a four and a half to 30 at this sort of cost, because it's just too much of an ask, and I would buy a good six to 24 instead. But that said, it is a very popular, compact, mid-range scope, and um, has stood the test of time. What's interesting is a new company called Delta Optics, in Poland, I believe, brought in by Optics Warehouse, are using the same components from the same factory in Japan. But by cutting out the middleman or whatever it is they're doing, they're building them to a higher spec for the same sort of money. So I've got two deltas to show you today. Um, one of them is good and one of them is absolutely outstanding. So here we have it, two reviews in one. Let's stick to the four and a half to 30 here. It's not a tactical scope, it's a hunting scope with turrets that are half useful. They really are. No illumination. And the ret is mill dot or duplex. So hunting stuff here. What the four and a half to 30 Delta Titanium can offer for 30 pounds more, but hundreds of pounds less than the tactical Bushnell models is tall turrets, illumination, same four and a half to 30 mag range, and a really nice floating dot um, tactical style reticle. Admittedly second focal plane, but it is much more useful for uh, precision stuff. Floating dots being a big favorite of mine. It's got nice well thought out hash marks. It's, it's cool. It's not daylight visible, the illumination, but it is decent enough. You're then talking about having the ability to use your four and a half to 30 just that little bit more tactically for only a few pounds more the other thing is this delta and i've tested it and side by side with the um, elite 6500 it has more field of view and everything that the elite does this does a shade better so i completely recommend it um, you can clearly see the DNA similarities. It's really hefty and uh, well put together. I'm sure they'll uh, they'll stand up well. And you've got a really squared away dealer in Optics Warehouse, so that's that's reassuring. Very nice build quality. Reassuringly hefty. I was really quite taken by it. As I say, it's like uh, 6,500 plus a few percent, and you've got the ability to dial. You've got a better ret, and you've got illumination. So. You know, I, I really like it. There is one error that they make here. If you look at the left wind, instead of being one left, it says five, as in five right. So Sightron make that mistake as well. It's completely unforgivable. That should say one left, one left, zero, one right, two, three. See what I mean? And instead, you've got to count backwards if you happen to want to put left wind on. Other than that, 
No big errors. I rather like it. So that piqued my interest as to what these Delta guys were doing. So I ordered another, this time to battle with the 2.5 to 16 Elite 6500. And this one, which is still a Delta Titanium, but a later model with a different ocular and the um, upgraded glass, different turrets, it, it's quite, quite a new model but bears the same name. But this one has moved forward so much, it's one of the best scopes I've seen. So um, here, check this out. So there's an Elite 2.5 to 16. It does handle the mag range well without getting soft at the top. It doesn't tunnel. It's very, very dialed. It is beautiful quality. It's got half decent turrets. By that I mean that they're capped, but you can still lift them, you can re-zero them, they are fairly clearly legible. You know, for a compromise um, between hunting turrets and tactical turrets, I've always really liked the way that Bushnell do that. It's exactly the same in this Delta Titanium HD 2.5 to 15 by 56. Same, you can really see that turrets are straight out of the same factory. What's interesting here is we've got illumination on the side. There's your side focus. Really nice and burly, beautiful finish. There's your illumination. The red dot, which they call a 4A, but really is a modern take of the 4A, like the Miopta 4C. It's got a thin, or, or, the, or the Zeiss 60. It's got a thin middle section which the photos don't really show. I'll try and put a picture up on this, on this video. Got a thin middle section and the dot, which is not too thick, not too thin, and daylight visible, uh, is uh, really nice. It's a good modern take on, on a highly visible hunting rat and uh, I like it very much. What impresses me most though, so this thing's 600 quid which is competing with the Elite 6500. We see little changes here, aside from the illumination being on the side. We've now got side visible magnification. Still got the Euro focus here. The turrets are changed from the other model I just showed you. But you can see the 6500 heritage here. But the glass is completely different class. Um, the 4.5 to 30 model was a bit better. The 2.5 to 15 model is in a completely different class. The field of view in particular is alpha. It completely doesn't belong in the mid-range at this price. Truly murders the 6500. The edge to edge is flawless. The colours and saturation contrast um, are all very, very, very decent. It will give the Cytron S3, which is the top of the mid-range optically, very sharp. It'll give it a sound thrashing for field of view and match it in all the other areas uh, and is brighter. It, it's that good, the glass on this. This is absolutely top of class. I'm thinking Zeiss Duralit or Conquest DL as they're called now. Maybe even a bit better, certainly more field of view and a better eye box and better edge to edge. I don't have one to compare side by side, but that's what I'm reminded of. It is an absolute steal. It's got the same field of view as my Miopta ZD, which isn't far behind a Zeiss Victory, and murders the mid-range. Um, the 6500 2.5 to 16 is a great scope. You put the Delta on beside it and you laugh out loud. It isn't even close. The iBox is one of the best I've ever seen. It's just there, blinking at you, right there. Put your head anywhere near it and boom, you're looking down range, perfect edge to edge. What a piece of kit, guys. Um, it's not a cheap scope, I mean, it's 600 pounds, but you're genuinely getting that mag range, no tunneling, no messing. So what you have for me is 
where I always chose an Elite 2.5 to 16 because of the uh, versatility that it offers and the quality, you've now got, for £600, through a reputable dealer, built in the same factory, a scope filled with infinitely better glass. Wow! Um, with a great RET, um, 4A doesn't sound very attractive, but actually it's rather more precise and modern than that. Day illumination if you need it. Cracking eye box, cracking turrets. I mean, it's not a tactical scope, but you know, as a as a as a sort of crossover hunting scope, I cannot think of anything I'd prefer. I'm reminded of the outstandingly good optically um, Miopta R2, two and a half to fifteen by fifty six, with a similar sort of um, uh, dot and uh, ret. But that's what eleven hundred and fifty quid or so, and it doesn't have parallax adjust. So, you know, for air rifle, rim fire, foxing, what a recommendation I can give this. I haven't raved about a scope so much since the Cytron S-TAC 2.5 to 17.5, um, which uh, I wish I had here to compare. Different kettle of fish, that, that's a bigger scope. Um, it's, it's a tactical scope, um, but, um, you know, I was very, very impressed by that for the money and... Uh, there's nothing that makes you wax lyrical like a really, really good bargain. And this scope is hundreds and hundreds of pounds cheaper than it should be. So I suggest, if you're looking at the Elite 6500 4.5 to 30, that, uh, but you want it a little bit more clicky and tactical and you'd like it illuminated with a, with a better RET, then the um, Delta Titanium will be a safe bet for another 30 quid and it's optically a shade better and if you want to buy a 6500 two and a half to 16 by 50 bear in mind it's quite a lot better the 50 than the 44 don't buy it buy one of these instead which knocks it into an absolute cocked hat and is a completely different class of scope. Um, trust me, you do not want to be buying one of these. And I've been using these for, you know, five years, probably more. You want to be buying these. Okay, it's that good. Trust me, and you can trust Optics Warehouse. Give them a go and um, you're not going to regret this. I took a big gamble selling one of my Elites. I had two to buy this because I was quite impressed by this and I knew that they'd upgraded it further with better glass and I just had a feeling that it would be good and um, I took a punt on it and my lord what a, what a scope it is so I couldn't recommend it more highly guys.